we can think of major seventh chords as kind of like super major. Um, I like to think of them that way. They are the prettiest chord. If we had to use the word pretty to put on a chord, we would do it for a major seventh chord. It is just, it's the chord that'll make you fall in love. So let's check out why. Let me just um, go out here and let me just write like one, a long one that it's just gonna resonate. Let's do a C major seven. Let's do it right here. So I'm just gonna make a major triad and then I'm just gonna go up another uh, third to get there, okay? Um, let's just hear that. Here we go. You see, there's like a little bit of dissonance in it. And that dissonance comes from the distance between this note and this note. Because that is a major seventh. Let's look at that on a keyboard. C to C would be here. That's an octave, right? We love octaves. Octaves sound great, but this is just one short of the octave. Right? If we played those two notes just by themselves, it is not a particularly pretty sound. Right? That's what it sounds like. Let's hear that again. Right? It's not a great sound, but when you fill in the chord, it makes this really beautiful, kind of like a little bit tortured because of the dissonance, but also happy because of the major, and it's just a pretty sound. Right, let's let's hear a little bit higher one. Let me do an F. So we were sticking to the key of C major. An F major seven also occurs. And then maybe I'll do another C major seven, but an octave higher, just so you can get another sense of it. Let's listen to all three of these. Right, so that we call a major seventh chord. Now we notate this um, by, if we're just gonna write out the name of it, we can either write M-A-J and then a subscript seven, or sometimes we write a capital M and then seven, or sometimes we write, uh, you, you might sometimes, if you're looking at like jazz music, you might see this triangle thing. Um, so like F triangle means major seven. You don't see that very often anymore, but sometimes in like older jazz notation, you see that. Let me play you an example. This example a little bit is gonna, you know, show my age a bit, but I don't care because it's just a good example of a major seventh chord um, in a pop song. We don't use major seventh chords in pop songs a lot. Um, so it's not super common that you would find them. In jazz music, you definitely find them a lot. In classical music, you find them reasonably often. Um, Pop music, not so much, but there is one example that is just such a gorgeous example. And it is Under the Bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers. So check this out. I'm gonna play this tune and I'm gonna holler uh, right before the major seventh chord. It's basically after the riff, right where the drums come in. And it just has this like, fe this feeling of like a sigh, like a, oh, you know, like because uh, it's just such a pretty sound. So he plays an E major seventh chord. Um, here we go. I'll point it out. What'd you think? It's like such a nice little sound, right? That is a major seventh chord. Okay, let's talk about minor seventh chords in the next video.